please be seated. Bonsoir and welcome. Mon nom est Anne-Marie Croteau, and I'm the first woman dean of the John Munson School of Business, one of the best and largest business schools in the world. I would like to begin by acknowledging that Concordia University is located on unceded indigenous lands. The Ganyan Gehaga Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we gather today. John Jagge, ou Montréal, est historiquement connu comme un lieu de rassemblement pour de nombreuses Premières Nations. Aujourd'hui, une population autochtone diversifiée ainsi que d'autres peuples y réside. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in an ongoing relationships with indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. Monsieur le recteur et vice-chancelier Carr, Monsieur David Fong, aujourd'hui récipiendaire d'un doctorat honorifique, distingués invités et collègues, family and friends, dear graduates, for many reasons, today is a special day for you, a day that calls for celebrations. Not only are you here to cross the stage and receive your hard-earned degree, but you're also here to celebrate your perseverance and strength in achieving these honors despite the challenges of the last two years. It has been an intense period of change and growth. Our society and the business world have changed tremendously since you began your studies, but so have you. You are the leaders and entrepreneurs of tomorrow, and I'm convinced that you will have a positive impact in our society. The entire John Wilson School of Business and Concordia community is proud of your achievements and contribution. To your families and friends, thank you for the support you have shown to our students. Que cette cérémonie soit un moment de fierté et de célébration pour vous aussi. It is with great pride that now I say congratulations to the graduates of 2022. Félicitations à chacun et chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés. It is now my honor to invite our president and vice chancellor, Graham Carr, to deliver his address. Merci. Bonne soirée. Bonsoir, good evening. It's wonderful to be together with you here this evening to honor your achievements as Concordians. Convocation ceremonies are, are always special events, but today's occasion is all the more meaningful because you had to do part of your studies during the pandemic when everyone's lives were turned upside down. La COVID-19 nous a privé et vous a privé d'une foule d'activités pédagogiques, parascolaires et purement sociales qui contribuent à définir la vie à l'université. Elle nous a forcé à repenser intégralement la manière dont les cours sont donnés, dont les travaux, les projets et les examens sont conçus et réalisés. It demanded that all of us adapt, adapt again, and keep on adapting. And it forced us to persevere through uncertainty, yes, through frustration, and even some disillusionment. But now you've made it, and you're all about to graduate. And your success speaks to your endeavor, but also to the extraordinary efforts of faculty and staff who helped to deliver the academic mission of the university. And I'm sure there are also many family members and friends cherish cherishing this moment with you today who also had a hand 
in your success. Now today, you're joining a community, a family really, of more than 245,000 Concordia graduates. Nous avons des diplômés de toutes les régions du Québec, du Canada et de plus de 150 pays du monde entier. Et cette diversité explique en grande partie pourquoi Concordia est une université si ambalante, innovante et internationale. Whenever I travel and meet alumni, it's fascinating to hear about their individual life stories, but also to feel their pride in being Concordians. And why not, after all? The Molson School and Concordia University have great momentum, and our grads are a big reason for that. For the third year in a row, Concordia has been ranked the top university less than 50 years old, not just in Canada, but in all of North America. And this past spring, when Times Higher Education measured the impact that more than 1,400 universities worldwide, more than 1,400 universities worldwide were making toward the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Concordia, your university, ranked in the top 50 for our work to reduce inequality, 20th, 20th in the world for how we perform on climate action, and fifth in the world for our leadership in creating smart cities and communities. Not shabby for a university that hasn't yet turned 50 years old. But even more important than the numbers are what those three categories say about our values. Our commitment to opportunity and accessibility, to environmental responsibility, and to blending technology with design to improve the quality of life for all in our urbanizing world. You know, when all is said and done, there are really just two key performance indicators that measure a university's success. First is what the university's research, teaching, action, and innovation contribute to the public good. And second, what is it that you, our graduates, go on to do? Some of you already have big ambitions for your future. Others may still be unsure about what road you'll take. And that's why the next part of this convocation ceremony matters. At Concordia, we choose our honorary doctorates for inspiration. Nous recherchons des personnes qui ont accompli de grandes choses dans leur domaine respectif, qu'elles soient connues du public ou non. We choose people who have demonstrated the vision and capacity to lead, to innovate, to teach, to improve, to transform. Independent thinkers, creators, innovators, but most of all, doers. But the honor goes both ways. Les récipiendaires d'un doctorat honorifique du Concordia nous honorent en retour par leur volonté de faire partie de ce que nous sommes en tant qu'université et de ce que nous aspirons à devenir. They honor us by their belief that we align with our values and also want to make an impact in the area where they're blazing trails. In a moment, you'll hear from Dr. David Fung, a visionary green tech inventor and entrepreneur. I mentioned how the work we do at Concordia on climate action, smart cities, and sustainability is being recognized globally. But Concordia is also a hub through our District 3 innovation space and B1 studio for entrepreneurship and startups, not just for Concordia students, but for founders from across Montreal, Quebec, and literally around the world. Some of you may have begun a journey in those same spaces. 
Green tech is one of the leading areas for startup innovation at Concordia, so it's a privilege to be honoring Dr. Fung in this context. Now, I'll stop there because in a moment, our citation reader will provide a much fuller introduction to our honoree. But what I hope you take from this ceremony, other than your pride of accomplishment, and you should be very proud of your accomplishments, what I hope you take away is inspiration. L'inspiration nécessaire pour transformer la formation rigoureuse que vous avez reçue à Concordia en action bénéfique concrète pour la société et le monde. Car après tout, les cérémonies comme celle d'aujourd'hui mettent en lumière la promesse éternelle des universités. Every year, thousands of students begin their studies and thousands more graduate. That's how the cycle of inquiry, learning, and innovation evolves and flourishes, because in the end, it's through all of you that we offer solutions to the world. Felicitations encore. Congratulations again on your success. I look forward to the impact you're sure to make. Thank you. Merci. Enjoy the evening. Mr. President, it is my honor to present to you Dr. David Fong, to recognize his outstanding achievements as an international entrepreneur and champion of sustainable management and, uh, and engineering. Dr. Fong used his extensive education as a springboard to future success. An immigrant to Canada, he completed three chemical engineering degrees at McGill University, including a PhD in 1979. A decade later, he founded and became chair and CEO of ACDEG Group, a global technology integrator based in West Vancouver. Throughout his career, Dr. Fong has been involved with more than two dozen business ventures and more than 60 patents and patent applications. He has advised a range of federal government departments and offices as well as one of the largest clean te technology venture capital fund in Canada. His more recent projects include integrating technologies from Canada, France, Belgium, and Japan for sustainable shrimp farming in China, and developing a floating device to cleanly reoxygenate large bodies of water. Dr. Fong received an honorary doctorate from Capilano University in North Vancouver in 2014. And he served as Capilano's chancellor from 2016 to 2020. A dedicated volunteer and philanthropist, Dr. Fong has been a member of many boards. And he and his wife, Grace, established the ACDEG Fellowship in Sustainable Engineering at McGill in 2016. Mr. President. On behalf of the Board of Governors and Senate, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Dr. David Fong so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa.
And now I'd like to invite Dr. Fung to proceed to the podium for his convocation address. Well, good evening, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, distinguished platform guests, graduating class, families and friends, and a special greeting to our South Asian communities on today's Diwali Festival. And bonjour, madame and monsieur. I'm most grateful to Concordia University for honoring me with this honorary degree. Like generations of immigrants before me, I came to this country 56 years ago with one suitcase and a few dollars in my pocket. This country, Canada, has given me the opportunity to learn, grow, and build a meaningful life. I must acknowledge the flinching support and encouragement of my wife of 51 years, Grace, sitting up there in the audience. She is my hero for believing in me, a poor student, when I had so little to offer and when I stumbled often. She has given me a family, three children, and nine grandchildren, and I'm proud to show off at every available opportunity. But tonight, I want to talk to our graduating class on three items. How to fail successfully, ethics, and potential. So our education institutions have many programs to teach us how to succeed. Very few offer programs on how to fail successfully. Failing successfully sounds like an oxymoron. Yet knowing how to recognize failure quickly is the cornerstone for success. Throwing good money after bad is a recipe for disaster. So graduating class from the John Moulton School of Business, you are in the wealth creation business. Creating wealth means taking risks in choosing a path with limited visibility, believing in yourself, having the conviction that you are on the right path to success. But what if you are wrong? In the science and technology world where I spend most of my career, the value of death is our constant companion. We are wrong most of the time. Statistics show only one in 250 research ideas would achieve successful commercialization. You can understand that successfully managing to discard the other 249 quickly is the cornerstone for building success. To recognize the losers early requires the recognition of the key characteristics of success. Concordia University has given you the working discipline to succeed, the tools to meet ch challenge, emerging challenges, and the basic knowledge to recognize the characteristics of success in your chosen field. Your future is in your hands. My youngest daughter, Amanda, is a little older than you and has been developing a profitable ethical trade in African seed business and I emphasize the word ethical. She believes that she can make a difference in helping the developing economies in, uh, in Africa generate wealth for the benefits of the local residents. Ethics is the elephant in the room of business. Peter Drucker reiterated the importance of profit in business, but highlighted the danger of profit maximization. Without ethical guardrails, Greed will convert excellent business skills into more Enrons and Wilcoms. 
the daily question for each one of us is, do I feel I'm fulfilling my potential? At any given time, we each have a unique combination of knowledge, skills, experience, resources, network of influence and opportunities in addition to our passions and interests. If we want to so help solve the world's greatest problem or even just make our lives count for something, we have to honestly ask ourselves whether we are making the most of what we've got and if not, what can be uh, done differently. One of the greatest things about potential is that it is not fixed. Every new day and every new experience stretch us or expose us to something or someone new. You can fulfill your potential one day, but the next day you have a new level of potential to fulfill. The key is choosing to be humble and teachable, denying uncomfortable ignorance and undue arrogance in favor of the unlimited possibilities that come with lifelong learning, growing, and collaborating. It is a daily choice to make our life count, and it requires a daily commitment to fulfill our new potential to be profitable and make the world a better place for all. So graduating class, I wish you success in fulfilling your personal potentials for the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fung, for your remarks about uh, ethics, about personal choice, about success, about failure. I think your, your convocation address was inspirational, but your life is even more inspirational for everyone in this room. Thank you for joining the Concordia community. And now, uh, as we prepare to ask our graduates to proceed to the stage, I invite you to enjoy the next few minutes with the Concordia Jazz Trio.
I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy from the following program, Business Administration. Reem Ayubi. Nelson Javier Duenas Gill. Tanya Singh. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriat in Business Administration. Lamia Ayun. <coughs> Lara Ivazian. Arvindam Bala Subramiam Sudha. <laughs> Leah Belanger. <laughs> Anju Bardwa. Ishputnit Singh Chawla. Dikshaya Shevkota. Mohammed Gasti Mangutu. Sai Praveen Gudachuchu. Praka Gupta. Chuo Han. Ankit Juneja. Anthony Karaplis. Inez Leu. Carl LePage. Manat Singh Madan. Radha Manda. Anil Kumar Modalavalasa. Nikhil Parasha. Shreya Satish Rungo. Mark Albert Sarufim. Ashita Sharma. Sharma. Arpoof Shinde. Aswin Sri Rupuram. Joanna Tornan.
Danielle Wu. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Supply Chain Management and the Master of Magisteriate in Science for the following programs, Finance Management Marketing. Mariam Helmi Fayek Kalem Gabra. Harul Singh. Alexandra Calderon. Megan Mastro Bernardino. Michael Ogums. Anton Zihan Tang. Caroline Tass. Donna Cagnoli. Kirsten Mailing Fong. Jennifer Turango. James Peters. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate diploma in the following programs. Business Administration, Chartered Accountancy, Chartered Professional Accountancy. Ashish Bharti. Yemen Chen. <laughs> Anita Okare Bia Darkwa. <laughs> Kartik Gambhir. <laughs> Sushi Kizkarak Chadran. Ping Liu <laughs> Yi Wen Lu <laughs> Masood Sadi <laughs> Akanksha Sharma. Sharma Haisam Ahmed Sabri Ahmed Shoman Anmol Trahan Krista May Aguira. <laughs> Amira Al Malak. <laughs> Farid Baghdadi. <laughs> Emilio Barberio. Jayan Biocot.
Jennifer Baylor. Hakim Benkadum. Wendy Branco Flores. Talia Buzaglo. Majalwa Bayandimbawa. Han Chen. Danilo Alberto Contreras Lopez. Miguel Mauricio Contreras Lopez. Anthony Di Placido. Philip Dupra. Ming Shi Feng. Panagiotto Gislas. Emily Grostern. Amanda Hanos. Xiao Chun Hao. Mina Ibrahim. Raul Gia. Nikki Comboros. Shinhui Loy. Marina Marcota. Brianna Mager. Saman Mera Brad. Alexander Moisiev. Sabrina Palumbo. Akshay Patel. Anka Petri. Angela Pinzaru. Alain Lyle Kivendo Hurtado. Robert Lawyers, Robert Vincent. Arshak Sarkissian. Royai Shamun.
Bogdana Ioela Siui. Wen Juan Sun. Catherine Sorowanisi. Haley Toivanen. Selena Tran. Chelsea Varano. Aihua Wang. Jack Westington. Ming Ming Yang. Inghui Marissa Yak. Sabrina Zrihan. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate certificate in the following programs, Business Administration, Quantitative Business Studies. Liana Franco. Ziho Aniset Gebebe. Angeleki Karelis. <laughs> Abhinand Ambadi Siva Kumar. Please enjoy the short video highlighting student life at Concordia before we continue with calling of graduates.
am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Administration and the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Accountancy, Economics, Finance. Aphrodite Cara. Jonathan Kling. Zen Ko. David Alejandro Cruz Rajales. Sheila Dosu. Jeremy Duke. Anna Grigor. Shabir Kakar. Jean Marie Kateb. Yung Ying Li. Faith McLan with distinction. Anusha Martin. David Meneghini. Tanya Mirihello. Mahna Sadat Mir Mohammed Khani Semnani. Victoria Monti. Nicole Nado. Dimitra Novielli. Tejasvini Patel. Clement Petkov. Despina Politakis. Jade Pombriand with distinction. <laughs> Nafi Rahman. Aisha Salimi. Tyler Sedborn. Matthew Salas. Abirachini Somaskandar. Jean Angelica Tolentino with distinction. <laughs> Sulasitaran Yogarasnam. Sadia Zafar. Manuel Yang Rose. Maria Paulo Velasco.
Yufi Shah with distinction. <laughs> Adriano Alacchi with distinction. <laughs> Brian Almeida. Chalak Shiha Shivangi Bigu. Sage Broda. Pietro Bucci. Omar Bugio with distinction. Samuel Castillo with distinction. <laughs> Mathieu Chartrand with distinction. <laughs> James Anthony Cordeiro Gomez. Anthony Michael Dandrea. <laughs> Valerio Del Carpio Ramirez. <laughs> Joy Roberto De Souza. Morgan Diaz Leclerc with distinction. <laughs> Gregory Dion. <laughs> Alessia Durante with distinction. John Mark Eight <laughs> Zihan Gao <laughs> Miguel Angel Gomez Vasquez. <laughs> Matthew Haddad. Maria Hatsipetros. <laughs> Lily Hotman. <laughs> Calvin Hunbao. Gregory Jansezian with distinction. Charles Huli. Abdullah Koita with distinction. Emerick Limay with distinction. <laughs> Leopold Levesque with distinction. <laughs> Tuan Anlor. <laughs> Riyad Makari. Serge Maselski. <laughs> Malek Nemn. <laughs> D. 
David Kayeye Mwamba. <laughs> Mathieu Pace. <laughs> Jessica Pedorupilai. <laughs> Alan Peacock. <laughs> Ibrahim Poulos with distinction. <laughs> Vanya Rolly with distinction. Franca Sicurella with distinction. Shane Spence. James Stewart. Gabriella Olympia Sutillo. Sokfea Sach. Lucas Stoya. Peter Zakari Tsonis. Gabriel Vinatea. Matthew Winiarski. <laughs> Rui Yi Xing. <laughs> Zainab Yildiz with distinction. Maria Yordanova with distinction. Edwin Younes. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments. International Business Management, Marketing, Supply Chain and Business Technology Management. Yuan Aman. <laughs> Maria Gabriela Barbie Lalo de Falco. Vincent Bergeron with distinction. Ava Diallo. Nicolas Anthony Tavares Furtado. Victoria Jeka with distinction. Diane Lola Estrada.
Mikita Nesterik with distinction. <laughs> Noor Kardan. <laughs> Misha Santiago. Anita Spaniola with distinction. Christopher Tardy with distinction. Brian Velasquez de Ruggiero. You are you. Ziki Zhu with distinction. Yanis Zituni. Isabella Aron Varos Paez. Maria Carmela Alessio. Lindsay Womock. Laura Siamara with distinction. Keana Clarice. Aishatu Diara. Dan Mirvichko Durandes. <laughs> Patricia Maria Hajduk. <laughs> Nafisa Kohinur. <laughs> Justin Kozuka. Adama Macchiago Godena. Masuda Nejat. Rahema Paracha. Luca Nicolas Rutkowski with distinction. Eshu Torres Oletario with distinction. Victor Abiyat. Sabrina Daniela Amado Aparicio. Chad Chosky. Adriana Cochanella D'Ambrosi. <laughs> Madeline Dadario with distinction. <laughs> Dylan Michael Diaz. <laughs> Nico Dizon. Gabriela Domene Giralde. Rose Fox. Amir Hamad. Melody Ogugi.
Christian Homsi. Adal Ibrahim Zaki. Weiming Jiang. Justy Joseph. Vincent Lalibarte. Alicia Lau Chumsun. Emanuela Isabel Lawa Bian M. Ashley Rose Marve Lowinski. Domenico Monti. Salome Poretz. Claude Plus with distinction. Cassandra Romanelli with distinction. Laura Sadarna Lemos. Gabriela Maria Sanchez Uloa with distinction. Amanda Santella with distinction. Nicola Satoani. Shia Shah. Rana Sky. <laughs> Katerina Sampia. <laughs> Subangi Turasingam. <laughs> Joshua Veyo. Isabel Yinlin Wong. <laughs> Mangyao Shu. <laughs> Hyun Ye. <laughs> Lori Zakarian. Rafu Laval. <laughs> Stephen Alexander Jesse Brown with distinction. <laughs> Madeha Shuduri. <laughs> Heather Deong with distinction. Alexander Dupee. Tasnuwa Harun. Adam Hudavardi. Shiane Lang. Marvelous Louis. Paul Mata.
Lamin Ambangu. Hung Nguyen with distinction. Nishe Prizada. Harry Ramlal. John Henry Romano. Hanan Saad. Minahil Sakrani with distinction. Christos Santos Suoso. Shub Shah. Sydney Tran. Alexander Zlopsky. Now, I would like to call upon our Provost and Vice President Academic, Ann Whitelaw, for the conferring of the degrees. Would all graduates please stand? Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates in the John Molson School of Business. Sorry. I certify these candidates have fulfilled the requirements of these degrees. You're almost there. By the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the provost. Congratulations, please be seated. And now, I would like to call upon this year's valedictorian, Dr. Hamid Shirdastian, to give the valedictory address. Bonsoir tout le monde. President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Dr. Fong, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. I'm pleased, I'm so pleased and honored to address you today on behalf of the graduating students. There is a popular saying, time flies when you have fun. It was a snowy night the very first time I arrived in Montreal, almost eight years ago. 
it was a bit cold, minus 30 or so, and the officer issuing my immigration documents was trying to give me some hope by saying that it's not going to be the same the whole year, and she was right. By surviving so far, I could tell you that it's going to be almost seven months, not more, and the spring comes. And the spring comes no matter how harsh the winter was. Today, I want to congratulate you, my fellow graduates, for the new chapter in your life. After so many summers and winters, after so many ups and downs you encountered during your program of study, after countless deadlines, assignments, group projects, presentations, talks, Zoom meetings, you remember those disconnected ones? And virtual classes? You have just received your prestigious diploma from the JMSP, which is among top 15% business schools worldwide. Congratulations. <laughs> However, being a graduate doesn't mean that we don't need to continue on our learning journey. As Ferdowsi, a great Persian poet said, 1100 years ago, based on a narrative from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which means seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. Knowledge is the, is the same as light. It brightens the room and empowers us to resolve the challenges of life. While we have already put so many useful tools in our toolbox to face the problems, there would be no end to learn new lessons and upgrading the toolbox. But what kind of tools do we need to carry forward? Here, I would like to highlight four criteria that all starts with letter R. Regress, relevant, responsive, and most importantly, responsible. First, be rigorous. The tool we earn should provide us truly precise results. For example, we need accurate predictions of where the market or the industry is headed. If we don't have that solid knowledge, we could simply lose opportunity or embarrass threats. Second, be relevant. Abraham Maslow wrote, if the only tool you have is a hammer, it's tempting to treat everything as if it were a nail. So we should continue widening our expertise to be able to choose the relevant instrument and not use a hammer in each and every situation. Third, be responsive. We need responsive tools to make us ready for upcoming adjustments. A future-oriented strategy involves planning actions based on risks and chances that will arise in the future while simultaneously being attentive to current trends as they change toward that selected future. Last but not least, be responsible. I could even say this is the most important of these four criteria, and we have already heard from Dr. Fang about ethics. We should carry tools that not only do not generate unintended negative impacts, but also bring positive societal benefits and preserve the environment of the only planet that we are living on. In my stream of research, on big data analytics and marketing, there is an important but usually neglected field of research and practice, which is big data ethics. Big data's dark side increasingly shows high potential to disrupt users' lives, companies' brand image, and society's welfare in so many ways. In fact, we need more responsible tools that facilitate business practices for the benefit of brands and societies while keeping users safe from potential intrusive 
and predatory actions of the firms. I conclude my remarks by expressing my sincere appreciation to the kind and caring administrative, staff, and faculties of the John Molson School of Business and Concordia University, who supported us during our journey. Especially, my deepest gratitude goes out to Dr. Michel Laroche, my prominent supervisor, as well as my great advisors, Dr. Mich Dr. Michel Palan and Dr. Yuma. We all owe a lot to so many amazing professors and teachers who nurtured us from the early days we learned the alphabet up to today, as well as our beloved parents, families, and friends, whose, encourage, whose, whose tremendous encouragement, understanding, and patience helped us cross the finish line. From now on, it's our duty to give back to our loved ones, to the society, and to the university. My flaws in the class of 2022, you have made it. This is our day, and tomorrow is for us. With the rigorous, relevant, responsive, and responsible tools in our toolkit. Felicitacion a two, congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Hamid, and I'm glad you weren't put off by that snowy arrival in, uh, in Montreal. And I'm struck, you made the connection between uh, Dr. Fung talking about ethics and the importance of being responsible. There's another connection that I think occurred when you mentioned the prophet and seeking knowledge from the cradle to the grave, and Dr. Fung had also talked about lifelong learning. And it's kind of symbolic because graduations are a crossroads, but it's not the end of learning. And I hope for all of you, in many respects, the best is yet to come in terms of your own curiosity and development and willingness to explore new things. Well, we're coming to the end of uh, the convocation ceremony, and maybe I could just pick up on one other point that Hamid made, and that is that there are many people in this room, family, friends, who've come to celebrate with you tonight. I'm sure you all know as the graduates how important they were to your success. So why don't graduates, you stand up, turn around, and give a big round of thanks to everyone who's here with you. Et en, en terminant, je veux dire, au nom de l'université, comment nous sommes privilégiés et même honorés que vous avez choisi l'école de gestion de John Monson puis l'université Concordia pour cette étape formidable dans vos carrières. Thank you for having chosen Concordia for your education. As we said before in the video, you will always be our ambassadors, and we will always be there for you. Merci encore, félicitations, and please join us for a vent d'honneur in the corridor outside. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you.